Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Restream service directly to Zoom so that you can go live multi-stream through Zoom as opposed to Restream Studio. This is a great option if you are a podcaster, creative entrepreneur, fitness instructor, or speaker who want to broadcast directly through Zoom or even share interviews and conversations with others while going live as well. Because everyone is already so familiar with Zoom, it takes the guessing and logistics out of the process and making it super simple for you and your guests to go live. To the left-hand side, this is Restream. And to the right-hand side, this is Zoom. And I really don't have a ton of, like... <laughs> like skin imperfections, but it's just showing a lot with HD cam right now. So I'll show you if you don't know how to do a quick touch up of zoom. Let me show you real quick. It's under uh, click on this arrow and then click on video settings from here within video settings. You want to, you know, uh, you want to enable HD, make sure that's done and you see the difference. So now these two cameras, the two angles are similar, more similar, but Within Zoom, it gives me this touch up at my appearance option. You see that? I'm going to turn on and off a few times. So that is actually makes a really big difference. So, so now with that said, let me show you how to connect your custom stream. Uh, if you want to use Zoom as your own streaming software, this is how you want to do it. Uh, so on your landing page within Restream, you will see that uh, here under streaming software, you're given two very important information, RTMP URL, and then you have your stream key here. So you can just click on copy. And because this is confidential information, you don't want to share this publicly. Uh, that's why it's also encrypted. Uh, if you need setup guides, good news is they are right here. And these are the common ones, including OBS. But if you have others such as Zoom, uh, what you want to do is uh, these are the step by step guide. The good news is that uh, Zoom also has an additional guide to walk you through this. So let me show you how to find the Zoom information. What you want to do is enable custom live streaming service and you need to be an admin in Zoom, right? So let me show you. Within Zoom, first sign in account management, account settings. Now, one step at a time. Click on custom live streaming services service box and enable it first of all, and then update the instructions so that webinar uh, organizer, you don't have to be a webinar, by the way, right here. See custom live streaming service and please provide specific instructions. So what you want to do is in that little box, you want to include this URL and streaming key. So, you know, uh, so you have that information handy. Once you enter that information and enable custom live streaming service, you can now start your meeting and I will show you uh, where that is. So once you're inside Zoom um, and what you can do is click on this more button and live on custom stream service. That's what you will choose. You don't have to choose any of the ones above. Okay, just this one. Now, once you click on that, you have to enter this information. Um, which is streaming URL, streaming key, and live streaming page URL. So any everyone who used this link can watch the live broadcast. What you have, let me match that back up using the two pages side by side so it's very clear. This is the information from Restream. And by the way, this method works for every type of live stream service uh, where multi-stream, multicast service you have. You'll always have a streaming URL, which is right here. It's called the RTMP URL. And then you have a streaming key, which is right here. Now this live stream page URL, uh, you don't always have that, but I actually don't think it's that important because at least for me, I don't assume somebody is going to go to a page and watch me live. Uh, you could do that and build something on your website. For example, like a landing page where you promote and market the event. Uh, but for us, how this is going to work is on all the social media channels, namely Facebook, LinkedIn, you know, Twitter and all that. You'll notice that as soon as you enter everything else, turns out the live streaming page URL is required. I think it's a little silly, but uh, basically what it's asking for is you have to give people a single place destination that can be anywhere that you are streaming so that they can watch this live broadcast. Now, depending on which social platform you selected, if you selected a public Facebook page, for example, and you can paste it right there. I want to clarify just a few things on 
uh, what the streaming URL can be. It has to be a place where it's public so that people can visit. Of course, you can put a page behind uh, a password if you choose to, but to keep it really simple, if you have a public Facebook page, such as what we have, you know, for slash face world, then you can just use this link as a place where people can watch live. So for example, I oh, recently so interviewed, um, in video. Elaine and you can see that, you know, you won't have this URL, by the way, you cannot share this URL because you don't know what it is, right? Before you go live. However, you can simply share again, just this URL to your public Facebook page. <laughs> Here is another option that you can build an, an actual live page on your website. So for me, that is faceworld.com forward slash live. As you can see right here, you know, we've gone live with our podcast guests and you know, give a bit of a verbiage and then you can drop this restream iframe right here. And from here, it's even going to say things such as a, um, the stream is currently offline, but you can follow these channels. So that you will know when Faye goes live. Again, you can choose uh, what these channels are. This, for example, Facebook can be a page, but it can be a personal page. I wouldn't recommend a personal profile just because that if you're not friends with someone and your personal profile is private, then they will not be able to get to the stream. I would recommend anything that's public. Again, YouTube is another channel. So is Twitter. Okay. And Twitch. So there are many other options. I personally do like the least resistance to access this live stream. So I do recommend that you have a place on your website. Let me show you how to find this embed code right on Restream. It's actually really simple. Once you log into Restream, you're going to look to the left hand side, click on the three dots and go right to settings. Under settings, you're going to go to widget right here. And within widget, this is it. This is all the embed code you need. You just click on copy. And check it out. You can even change the size of that. There are some presets here and you just drop it right on your website. All right. So meeting is now streaming live on custom live streaming service. Hey guys. Um, I don't know how well this is going to go, but I am basically at home by myself, uh, experimenting with a uh, restream. I'm excited to announce that I have two interviews coming up, which I'll be doing this and you guys can see me go live on multiple platforms, social platforms, including my LinkedIn page, uh, my YouTube page and my personal Facebook page, Twitter, Periscope, which I'll be using for the first time ever. And look, I went live. This is crazy. So there's my Facebook page. Let's check out uh, Twitter first. Oh, I did go live. This is crazy. Look at it, guys. Check it out. So let's go back to, let's see what else. Oh, YouTube. YouTube is the last thing we haven't checked just yet. So let's take a look at my YouTube channel. So first one minute, Phase World Media Live. And you can go to Video Analytics and you can go to Video Details. Look, it's actually public. I'm going to... Hey guys, um, I don't know how well this is going to go, but I am basically at home by myself. Uh, experimenting with a uh, restream. I like that. I'm going to currently just make this uh, video unlisted. Uh, and as you can see, after you publish all what's called the title and description that you will customize in restream will be here. I was, uh, it was really fun, but the reason why I want to customize this further and I know what to do next time is because the moment you connect restream uh, on zoom, it literally goes out the moment you say go live. I mean, you're live. Uh, there is no other start or trigger button for that. Let's take a look at the analytics. I wonder how quickly they can even capture that. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at this. After a two minute broadcast it's going to show you a, an engagement. Look at Twitch, LinkedIn and Periscope is all zero. So basically the interaction that you're seeing from all of it is purple is YouTube. And then blue is Facebook personal page that people saw me very briefly. Thanks for watching this. I know it's pretty raw and I'm experimenting with Restream for the first time. So I hope you find it helpful and hope we can learn together. Remember to subscribe because I'll be producing so much more content related to live streaming and teaching online for creative entrepreneurs. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.
Thank you.